Accidents in nearby states involving trains carrying crude oil has, have raised concerns over the safety of Minnesota railways and the people living near them. With new legislation, legislation, the Minnesota Department of Public Safety is providing oil transportation awareness trainings to local responders across the state. Our Chelsea Brown has the story. It may have looked like officials were angling for some ice fishing on Lake Farrell and Camp Ripley, but responders were gearing up for a hands-on training session on how to contain an oil spill should a train carrying crude oil derail. So they can figure out what to do in those first moments if and when something were to come off the tracks and spill into one of our lakes or even waters. This comes after legislation was passed in July 2014 that requires the Minnesota Department of Public Safety to provide awareness trainings to local jurisdictions across the state. The law that was uh, enacted put an assessment on both pipeline and the rail companies. And we're using that to then train our first responders on how to deal with this specific oil issue as it's transported through the state of Minnesota. And as you can see behind me, it is a process drilling holes all the way down in a straight line to remove big chunks of ice so the oil can float up to the surface. They will be cutting ice slots and oil, depending on the oil, can't float on water. So what happens is if they can cut some slots in the ice as the oil goes underneath the ice, if we can get holes, it'll come back up, and then we'll have the ability to uh, suction that off or absorb that off. Enhancing their training, responders from 24 surrounding cities practice how to cut the slots and remove pieces of ice all in a safe way on a frozen lake. The biggest thing here is how to be safe on ice, what techniques you have to use, how to make sure that none of your responders get injured while doing this, because it's going to be different on the Mississippi, Mississippi River, the Minnesota River, the Red River than it is on a, a frozen lake. Officials plan to continue expanding the training, dealing with oil spills also on running water. In Camp Ripley, Chelsea Brown, Lakeland News. Around 5,000 first responders from 167 departments have been trained to better understand the hazards posed by the transportation of oil and how to best protect the public's safety. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.